the Minister for Social Development and Employment. What support is the government giving to non-government organisations in Christchurch affected by the earthquake? The Hon. Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, a lot of hard work has gone in and very quickly. Um, funding, coordination and facilities have been provided. On the Friday, directly after the earthquake, the Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister and myself had a conference call with 17 major NGOs to work through the, what support is needed and how we can help. Um, to help, we've also hired the Christchurch netball club rooms at Hagley Park for NGOs to use as needed. Katrina Shanks. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what other government support has been available in Christchurch? The Hon. Paula Mr Bennett. Speaker, we've used the Community Response Fund underspend to ensure continuity of payment for those NGOs that needed it and did that really quickly. A key focus has also been on trauma counselling. We have 262 counsellors on the ground and others around the country. We've also, um, we'll also have a number of counsellors and welfare um, volunteers at the memorial service tomorrow, uh, 350 in total. Um, and of course, we've had that student volunteer army that's been out in great force, and we were able to provide them with $20,000 worth of funding. The Honourable Annette King. Will she oppose the recommendation from the Honourable Tariana Turia to cut funding for Torito Family Violence Prevention and the Child Advocates Budget in light of the report from the Minister of Women's Affairs of increased family violence in Christchurch post the earthquake? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Um, Mr Speaker, budget bids are yet to be um, assessed by Cabinet and they'll be made in due course. Question number seven, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. 